thank you every single person who is here with us today for joining us. Hope that you are all having a wonderful Tuesday. Um, this is our computer science degree um, webinar. We're going to be giving you all great information about um, University of the People as well as our computer science degree. So just introducing um, ourselves. My name is Sarah O. I am the digital content producer here at University of the People. Um, I create different videos as well as help out with live webinars like this um, and help manage the YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel for University of the People, make sure to do so. And I'm gonna go ahead and let Reem introduce herself a little bit as well. Hello everyone, my name is Reem and I'm a bachelor's computer science student at the University of the People. Uh, as you can see here, I'm also a gamer, <laughs> so uh, I'm happy to be here uh, co-hosting with Sarah today. Thank you. Yes, uh, yes, no problem. And for those of you um, who have not seen our YouTube channel, Reem was actually the first student to um, live stream esports to our YouTube channel, and she was playing Valorant. So if anyone is interested in esports or interested in Valorant, make sure to check out her live stream after this webinar. So we're gonna go ahead and um, go over quickly the webinar agenda. Um, there are a few things that we do wanna cover to give you guys as much information as possible so you are fully prepared for your journey at University of the People. Uh, we're gonna tell you a little bit about UO People. Um, we'll discuss admission and have a program overview for the associate's degree and bachelor's degree of computer science. We're also going to talk about the curriculum and courses that you're going to be taking here, as well as some possible careers that our students and other students have um, ventured into after getting their degree. We're gonna talk about life after graduation because we want every single person who comes here to graduate from here and then talk about the next steps in your application process and then leave the floor open for questions at the very end. So I hope that all of that is something that is exciting for you because we're gonna try to make this as exciting as and fun as possible. And Reem is gonna give you that in-depth student um, side and understanding um, and answer a few of my questions throughout this presentation so that you guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to put that in the question section so that we can help you understand even more about your people. So for those of you who do not know, um, UO People was actually um, founded in 2009, and we consider ourselves the education revolution. Uh, we were accredited in 2014, and we are for the people and run by the people. We are the world's first nonprofit tuition-free American accredited online university. And what makes us unique is that we are a mission-based university and we're dedicated to opening access to higher edu education globally. Um, we believe that education is a human right and that every qualified student deserves that right. And we see amazing stories every single day from our students and graduates who are changing their lives from earning a degree with us and this is exactly what we're here for. So if you think that you know kind of fits you, I'm super excited to tell you even more about UO people and talk even more about um, our students' journeys. So just a few things about University of the People once again. Uh, we are we full, we're full of students who are hard workers and truly care about their education. We also have renowned academic leadership from top institutions across the United States. And we offer a lot of personalized support for our students. And as most of us know, or all of us know, um, there has been a pandemic going on for almost, we're well, going in our junior year. And online learning has actually become even more popular since the pandemic happened. And it's very flexible um, because of location and scheduling. Those are things that can really be decided by you. And a huge benefit of studying online is that you can study from anywhere in the world at any time that you want to and go at your own pace. So in the United States, for those of you who might be wondering what does American accredited mean, um, in the US accreditation is the primary reason and primary means of assuring quality education. So your people's accreditation status confirms that we have voluntarily undergone a comprehensive self-study and peer examination that demonstrates the institution meets standards of accreditation. So that includes being able to demonstrate that our students and graduates 
have benefited from the learning experiences provided at your people. So it is not, and it should not be easy to earn an online degree. And our programs are designed to challenge our students and offer them a quality accredited degree at the end of their studies with us, which makes them valuable to use in their careers and for further study. So we, if you um, are not aware of who we're accredited by, the University of the People is accredited by the Distance Education Accrediting Commission, also known as the DEAC. And the DEAC is listed by the United States Department of Education as a recognized accrediting agency. And um, we have also been recognized as a candidate for accreditation by WAS, um, Senior College and University Commission progressing towards accreditation. So we always wanna ensure that our programs and the things that we are teaching you are of the highest quality and accreditation helps us make sure that that is possible. Um, you know, roughly 70% of Americans graduate college with a lot of student loans and you genuinely don't have to. As a tuition-free university, University of the People offers a cost-effective alternative to traditional American universities and you can cut the cost of attending school by 95%. A lot of people are always wondering, like, what does tuition free mean? It means that unlike other universities, we don't charge students for taking courses here. You're not paying for textbooks. You're not paying for course materials. All of those things are offered to you for free. And we also have Reem, who is a computer science student here. Um, and what has your experience been like, especially um, with getting personalized support? Um, what kind of personalized support have you received since attending UO People? To be honest, I remember that I first registered uh, in the University of the People uh, in July uh, 2020. So it's been more than a year. And oh. since I registered that time, I got a lot of uh, help from my personal advisor or my program uh, program advisor. Uh, he helped me a lot in, uh, with my high school certificate because I had a lot of problems with it, but they were very helpful. Uh, they helped me a lot. And as you can see, I'm still a student here. Yes, yes. So we always wanna make sure a lot of times people struggle online submitting documents. Your program advisor is there with you from the day you apply until the day you yeah. graduate. So they always Since make the sure first day. Yes, yes, exactly. And Reem has been here for over a year now. So her program advisor, I'm sure, has been with her at the start of every term, at the end of every term, um, really trying to support every single one of us along the way, because we know that it can be hard and we don't want you to have to go through your educational journey alone. We are here to help and support. So glad you were able to get um, some of that support from your program advisor as well, Reem. And for those of you who are interested in, you know, who we're partnered with and how we get our renowned academic leadership. Um, the leading academic minds of the world have actually gathered together at your people to create high quality, affordable programs that will provide you for success in the job market. So our leaders are prominent academics from top universities and organizations, as you can see on the screen, um, such as Princeton, NYU, and Columbia to provide leadership and guidance to ensure your people offers the highest quality degree programs. And even outside of that, um, we also do have uh, several requirements for our admissions program. So we want our programs to be the highest quality and we ensure that with our um, accreditation status as well as with our highly renowned academic leadership. But we also wanna ensure that everyone understands the admissions process at University of the People. So as an accredited university, UO People has several requirements for all potential applicants, and that helps maintain, oops, excuse me, that helps maintain a strong intellectual student body. And for our computer science programs, um, excuse me, for our computer science programs, you will be required to meet these important and very straightforward requirements to join UO People. And remember that today's session is being joined by our admission advising team. So please let us know um, if you have any questions and they'll be able to answer that. And I do wanna say a very special thank you to our admission advisors who are here on the webinar with us today. We appreciate every single one of you and we really do appreciate the support that you're already providing these students before they start their journey here at EO People. So please feel free if there are any questions that come up for you while I'm speaking, put those in the chat 
we'll try our best to answer them directly when, from the program advisor. And we'll also have a space at the very end of this webinar for any outstanding questions that you might have. And if you are interested in enrolling at University of the People for the new year, but you want to start for the very next term, our application deadline is January 6th. So, you know, new year, new you, new degree, all of those things are things that you might be considering. So please make sure to take the time to look through our application process and ensure that you have enough time to apply for our January 6th deadline. So paying for school is something that a lot of people struggle with. And we know that that's something that some people do not feel comfortable with, but we make sure to keep it as affordable as possible to attend University of the People. So through our unique tuition-free higher education model, we have removed most of the costs for students to attend university. Um, however, we still have some fees to help keep your people running to take care of all the processing work. You know, that's what your program advisor is there for, to run the university and also to provide excellent services to our students. So here's the cost for studying an undergraduate computer science degree with us. You're only paying $60 for your application fee and you're paying $120 at the end of each term for your, co your course exam. So that's $120 for any undergraduate courses. And that's how we try to keep our fees as minimal as possible. So moving to the next slide. So a lot of people are always curious about how online learning works, specifically at University of the People. Um, these are kind of like four different models or um, outlets that we use to ensure our online learning for our students. So we use Moodle. I like saying it because it sounds like Moodle. So we use Moodle, uh, which you can see on the slide right now. And it is an online learning management system um, to deliver our courses entirely online. While it's not necessary to be physically present in a classroom, students at University of the People are part of a strong and lively online academic environment. Courses are led by qualified instructors who guide and support students throughout each course. Students also engage with one another through online discussion forums and peer-to-peer -peer reviews in small classes, often no more than 30 people with very personalized attention. So Reem, I know you've been taking courses for over a year now. Um, Peer-to-peer -peer learning is something that a lot of people don't really understand, but it's something that is a you know, cornerstone of our online learning model. So how have your peers been able to help you in your educational journey at your people? For me, peer-to-peer -peer assessment was a new thing for me because I never like use it in, my, in schools here. So it was new for me, but I really uh, enjoyed it. And it helped me to improve my critical acceptance skills. And it's a life skill. So you really need to be okay with the, like receiving feedback. Uh, don't take it personal. And peer-to-peer -peer assessment really helped me develop this skill. Yes, definitely. And that's something, too, that a lot of people might not be comfortable with. But we are an international university, even though we are online. And there are a lot of different cultures and things like that that you're able to be exposed to once you actually can talk to your peers. So that's really important. Um, and if you do have a favorite instructor or a favorite course, um, what is that and why? I remember my instructor from the course Programming Fundamentals that I took in my first semester. Uh, he was really helpful. He helped me in a lot of the assignments that I didn't know how to answer because it was my first semester. It was new for me. Uh, he helped me side to side with my program advisor. Uh, and that really helped me to continue in the university uh, full, full of confidence and uh, like to pass all my uh, courses in the further terms. So I really appreciate his help. Thank you. Yes, I love that. That's really cool. And um, what's your favorite part? I know Moodle, I like saying it because it sounds like Moodle. Moodle. But I know Moodle. Um, what's, what's your favorite part about Moodle? My favorite part is that Moodle is very user friendly. Like it's easy to navigate. You can view your grades, view what uh, assignments you have. 
uh, it's easy to know what is coming uh, next week, uh, to see what new feedback you got from your instructor or from your peers. It's really user-friendly and student-friendly, uh, especially for the beginners or for the new students. So yeah. it really, it will not make you feel uh, really overwhelmed or like a lot of things happening at the same time. No, it's really organized and user-friendly. Yes, that's awesome. I love that. And um, that's a lot of times people kind of struggle with that. And they're like, oh, like, I hate, you know, I hate <laughs> online learning. But for those of you who do potentially struggle with it um, on our YouTube channel, we have a video that explains what Moodle is and basically gives you a tutorial on how to use it. So once again, make sure that you check out our um, YouTube channel. I will drop the link to it at the end of the um, webinar. So make sure you stay till then so that you can get the um, link in the chat. So student support also is um, something that is very important. Our students are hard workers. They have families, they have jobs that they're um, dealing with. So we understand that fully at UO People, and we make sure that all students are assigned a program advisor at the beginning of their course of study at University of the People to help in this issue. Advisors are there, and they're also here in the chat um, to help students succeed in their degree program. So they're ready to answer questions, to offer support and give personal advice, as well as um, making sure that our education system runs as smoothly as possible. So Reem, um, I know that student support is also important amongst the student, um, especially for our social media communities, which are pretty big. So what platforms do you typically use um, to connect with your peers? The first platform I used was Yammer. Uh, from there, I had to know a lot of uh, students and a lot of uh, my uh, colleagues now. Uh, it is a great platform to start with. And now, recently, when we start the esports streams, I yeah. saw that a lot of students uh, use Discord. And, you know, Discord is like a gamer's platform, but I found a lot of study groups there, a lot of people I met there too. So you have Yammer, Discord, even Facebook groups. I saw a lot of Facebook groups and I joined them. And like uh, I also attend the Facebook Lives uh, in the University of the People uh, page. And uh, there are some WhatsApp groups that are really helpful. You, I had to meet a lot of uh, people there, a lot of computer science students, of course, and a lot of people that who that take uh, the same course that I'm taking. So it was really helpful. Uh, cheering so that was awesome i love that yeah and a lot of times you know you might feel disconnected from your classmates but as <laughs> yes. said, everyone at your people makes the best use of social media they use it to study together they use discord facebook yammer anything you can think of our students probably use it to stay connected um, and i love how much how supportive students are of each other in their academic journey in their personal journeys we all understand that the real world is happening and real life is happening, but the, the amount of times I've seen, even in our um, esports discord, I've seen them talking with each other and being encouraging with one another. Um, that's the kind of culture that we you know, have at your people. We care about each other and we want to help each other graduate and get our degrees. Um, and on top yes, of and this, as I yeah. said in my last stream, I said that most of my friends are from the university, so uh, the social media uh, uh, really helped me to like expand my network, especially uh, with my uh, university peers. So yes, I lo I love to add this. <laughs> yes, I love that. Yeah, social media is a great way to make friends here at your people and people will respond. So <laughs> make sure you reach out and kind of put yourself out there. And even with students, I know students have a very strong bond with each other, but how do you think your um, instructors have actually been able to help you get personalized attention? Has there been any instance where, you know, maybe you weren't having a good week and you needed to tell your instructor that, or you need an extra help or expl extra explanations for an assignment? Um, were they able to help you in any ways like that? 
All the instructors that I met until now are uh, friendly. Uh, one time my instructor let me like edit my submission because there's a part that I didn't understand and he like edited my grade. That was really like wholesome from him. Uh, that really cheered me up and I was like, no, I really missed this grade. No, he really helped me. And they, uh, all my instructors answer my messages in the model. I can like, text them directly from the model that's a good point for, uh, of the model too so and on my discussion forums my answers in the dis discussion forums always they comment uh, and give me a great feedback and great rating i love that yeah so if you don't understand moodle she's able to explain it a little more um you can message your professor or your instructor excuse me at any time of the day you can well not any time day, but they understand that they're working with students from all over the world. So Moodle really does help you stay connected with them and ensures that your instructors um, and you are connected, even if you're not in a physical building together. So um, thank you so much for sharing that, Reem. I'm going to go ahead now and talk a little bit more about um, what you guys are actually interested in here um, for the computer science program in particular. So Reem is a computer science program um, student and just talking about who leads our program um our program is actually led by Ale um by alexander tuzzelin and um he got excuse me dr alexander um and he currently serves as professor of information systems at the new york university and he's chair of the department of information operations and management sciences at the stern school of business so we ensure that you know as you can see here our advisory board members are from countless amount of universities in the united states like yale carnegie mellon even Facebook here, um, we make sure that our academic leadership is derived from places and from people who truly care about education and want to ensure that the high um, education and high quality education continues at University of the People. So if you're interested in associates or bachelor's degree, we are going to talk a little bit more about both of those. So the Associates of Science and Computer Science online degree program is built on a technical base and enables students to explore the field from a range of perspectives. So individual courses are the building blocks of each degree program. Students pursuing an associate's of science degree must complete nine courses to fulfill the general education requirements. And if you're interested in seeing the full list of general education courses required, you can visit the catalog on uopeople.edu, or you can check out the general education requirements um, course catalog, once again, on uopeople.edu. If you are curious about getting anything from this presentation, please don't worry. We will send all the links and we all will send this presentation as a follow up email to each and every one of you. Um, students who are pursuing a Bachelor of Science degree must complete the following courses to fulfill the general education requirements. So once again, if you're interested in um, seeing any of those details, visit yourpeople.edu. And I know that Reem, she is here studying bachelor's, um, her bachelor's of computer science with us. And can you talk a little bit more, how, do, how manageable do the courses feel at your people? Yes, as you said, I am a computer science, bachelor's computer science degree seeking student. And uh, having, I, for now, I take two courses every term, so I can like take it slow. Uh, the courses are really organized, like I don't have to do a lot of things from my side because every week we take a new unit and every unit have their own assignments and it's very organized very simple we take it slowly the first week is easier and like it's welcoming it tells you about what are you going to take in the uh, next uh, units and the next weeks so it really helped us not get uh, nervous uh, about the whole course so yes i have uh, my own schedule like every day i study for one hour you can take more you can take less uh, you can study like on the weekends because it's flexible <laughs> just make sure to submit your assignments before the deadline other than that you're flexible and you can do anything you want literally yeah and that's honestly the best part i think about um your people's is high quality 
you're not paying an arm and a leg for it and you get to set your own study schedule so you don't have to worry about driving to class or you know wearing your mask out or any of that stuff you can be in your pajamas <laughs> and watch whatever or being I late <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to be late to class you know there are certain times some courses do have exams that have to be proctored and things like that but even then that is still set up around your schedule because they understand that everyone is all over the world and different time zones so it really is a fully flexible program regardless of if you're interested in your associate's degree or in your bachelor's degree. And talk a little bit more about the curriculum here at UO People. So for those of you who are interested, um, course requirements are structured to ensure that student study encompasses a broad range of topics and approaches with an appropriate balance maintained among the three curriculum components that comprise a liberal arts education. So general education, the actual major, and electives. So the bachelor's of science in, excuse me, the bachelor's of science in computer science um, accredited online degree program provides students with an in-depth knowledge and analytical skills associated with the field of IT and computer science. So students at your people receive a comprehensive understanding of design, development, testing and documentation of a range of operating systems. We have database management and programming languages. We also have essential knowledge to implement the skill into real life situations. So once students, once students complete an online computer science bachelor's degree, that opens the doors to a broad career path with a range of options. And our computer science degree online will also provide the key tools to continue studies at a graduate level. So you can use your bachelor's degree to get a master's degree in IT or computer science once you've graduated from University of the People. Um, and in our exciting range of courses that you guys can see on the screen, you'll learn about and gain experience with some of the major subjects in computer science today. So a few examples of this are understanding Java programming, um, covering fundamentals such as data types, program control and decisions, learning about loops, string manipulations, procedures, array, software testing, and debugging. Um, there are very advanced concepts such as um, recursion, linked data structures, and Java collection framework that you get to learn about as well. You can explore computer systems. You can look at the internal design and functionality of the most basic computer components, such as an online hardware simulator to actually build a computer. And you can develop an assembler from scratch. You can do things like catch up on web programming. You can include web applications, learn about web services, enterprise web development, markup languages, and server-side programming. You can build your own mobile application. You can learn how to delve into artificial intelligence. You'll cover concepts and techniques in AI, including reasoning, problem solving, and search optimization. So we have a quote here from one of our um, computer science students. Um, his name is Christopher Jay, and he says he has 20 plus years of experience in the IT industry, but he never earned a degree. So the skills that he learned at UO People can be directly applied to many of his real world challenges. So we wanna make sure that the things you're learning at UO People actually help you in your careers after you graduate. Um, and Reem, I know that you've been taking courses you know, for a while now. Um, what would you say have been your favorite courses so far? My favorite courses for now, like until now, are the programming courses, I, until now, I took Programming Fundamentals and Java 1, and now I'm taking Java 2. They are really fun because we have a lot of exercises that, uh, practicing exercises that we have to code our, by ourselves. So it is really fun. And you know, when I graduated from high school, I thought that I hate math. But when I took algebra in, uh, in the university, I was like, wait, maybe I don't hate math. <laughs> maybe I just had a bad experience. Like really, when I took, the algebra course it was really fun like the uh, the the assignments we have you know the interaction that i have with my peers with my uh, uh, instructor it was really fun so i love the math courses and now i'm taking another math course and the programming courses they are my favorites 
Wow, I love that. And as you can see, math can be fun if you get to learn yes, it, it in a fun, fun. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I feel like I'm kind of biased to English because I used to teach it, but I do think that math can really be fun. If you have a good teacher, if you had a good experience yes. with it, I think that everyone can love math a little bit more. So I'm glad you were able to kind of go from not liking math as much to exactly. liking math <laughs> at UO people. Um, and what's something important, I know we talked about it on um, one of your live streams on the YouTube channel about um, Java and programming and things like that. Um, you know, what's something important that you think you've learned from a course that you've been able to use in real life? Like the, like the skill that I really appreciated and I really like happy to learn is research skills like most of the questions that we take in the discussion forums need uh, to be researched and like to go through a lot. So that really helped me to learn how to research. Like as programmers, like we are as programmers, you have to research a lot because you will find yeah. a lot of bugs, a lot of prog uh, pro uh, problems. So you need to research a lot, Google a lot, ask people. So we learned that skill in the university while studying. Like I didn't notice that I'm learning the skill. Like I can Google now anything. I, I Google for my family. So I have, uh, I, I gained a lot of knowledge about researching. So I'm really gra yeah. grateful for that. Yes, I'm really glad. And you know, sometimes you might not realize what you're doing in the moment, but it is a skill set that is helping you. And I think most careers, especially in computer science, like you, you're gonna have yes. to search something. You might have to search why your code is acting weird. You might have to figure out like what everything you could think of um, are things that you'll be able to basically try when you're taking courses that you owe people. And I'm glad that you talked about research in particular because that can definitely be something that a lot of people struggle with. But if you do struggle with it, if you come to UO people, you can learn how to do research a little bit easier. Um, there are a lot of different careers you can go into with computer science as well. These are just a few of the careers that um, some of our students have shown that they're interested in or have actually gone on to. You said research and we have researcher on here, so that's perfect. Um, oh. and, you know, yes. <laughs> so it does help as you can see um, for anyone who is interested in research, having a computer science degree will help you with that. And you know, as technology continues to evolve and improve the way that we live our lives, um, businesses in every single industry have a growing need for qualified individuals to manage and develop their web-based applications, websites, and databases. So individuals with a bachelor's in computer science degree have qualifications that are desired by companies, big and small, and it'll really make competitive candidates in the job market. So you'll find yourself eligible for promising entry-level positions with room for growth in IT departments, startups, and high tech companies. And many will turn their skill into a thriving business by striking out on a path as a freelance web designer or programmer as well. Um, so, you know, Reem, I know you're studying with um, for your bachelor's of computer science, and a lot of people who are interested in that might have different goals for what they want to do with their degree. Um, what do you want to do with your degree um, once you have it from your people? Uh, I feel that I'm more like an entrepreneur, so mm -hmm. I think uh, or I'm planning to like start like a programming agency where we like do uh, uh, mobile apps, websites to help like companies and online businesses or e-commerce to build their websites, you know, mobile apps. So I think this is my dream, I can say. Yes, I love that. And I can definitely see you doing something like that. I think you'd be great at Thank it. You. Yeah, I know other people might be really interested in sharing what they want to do with their computer science degree. So I'll give you guys about a minute in the chat. What are you interested um, in doing once you get your degree from UO people? You know, kind of talking more about that, Life after graduation is something that a lot of people are always curious about when they talk about their degree from UO people. Some of our graduates have gone on to work for companies like IBM, Microsoft, Amazon, and Apple. And alumni at UO people shared with us that they learned the skills and knowledge needed to take their employment to the next level. So 
no matter what career path you are pursuing, EO People offers an affordable educational route for you to advance in your career, for you to get a promotion or the raise that you've always wanted, or to completely change your career. And we are incredibly proud and humbled to know that not only are our current students satisfied, but also from a post-graduation perspective, our alumni are still enjoying the effects of our university. So I know even Reem, she was saying earlier, that she um, would you know one day want to open her own company and things like that are things that a lot of our students are interested in entrepreneurship as well if you're somebody who's like I really want to get my computer science degree but I kind of want to learn a little bit more about entrepreneurship because I don't want to work for a company after I graduate we actually have a certificate in entrepreneurship that helps you basically learn the ins and outs of what it's like to be an entrepreneur how you would have to run your own business and tips and tricks to help you become a more effective entrepreneur. So UO people were always offering things like certificates. If you are interested in one degree program, you can still learn about different things without having to you know, pay for a whole nother degree. You can pay for a certificate and learn the skills that you need to achieve your next goal. And um, so that's pretty much it for life after graduation. We have a few people, um, who are also you know, on the call. And a lot of you guys have started your application process or are maybe you know, interested in learning more about your application process. So we really wanna make sure that we can kind of um, assist you guys and help you guys answer those questions along the way. So um, there are admission advisors in this chat who can also talk to you all. But just looking at this quick chart, it says, have you started an application to your people? If you have, that is great. Um, if you've completed your assignment or excuse me, if you've completed your application, then don't forget to save your spot by January 15th. So deadline to save your spot is January 15th once you've already completed your application. If you have not finished your application, you need to finish as the deadline to apply is January 6th. So saving the spot January 15th, applying for the first time January 6th. And then if you have not started an application at all at UO People, you can visit uopeople.edu and click the pink button to apply by the January 6th deadline. Let's see, there we go, <laughs> per course. So it doesn't matter if you're going for your associates, which is only nine courses, or your bachelor's, which is 11 courses, you'll still be paying the $120 fee per assessment. And um, great question that you guys are asking. Let me go ahead and look at some more. Um, if I have a student ID already, does it mean I'm all set just wait for class? Um, if you have a student ID, um, you should reach out to your program advisor just to make sure that you're registered for your classes. As long as you've registered for classes and you've received an email telling you that you are confirmed for those classes, then you're ready to go. But if you only have a student ID number, that is not enough to be registered for classes. So make sure you reach out to your program advisor uh, for clarification, just in case um, you know there's more that you need to do. Um, Abdul, thank you so much for being here with us. Oh, you can't type anything. Yeah, I'm not sure why the question, I can't type anything. I'm not sure if it's a glitch or something, but I'm having an issue with that as well, Abdul. Um, Reem, question for you from um, Hala. Can you please give any advice on how to pass the Java course? Yes, of course, Hala. First of all, we're gonna take two courses on, in Java. Uh, so my first, first advice is to focus on Java 1 course because uh, Java 2 course really depends on Java 1. So you really need to focus on Java 1. My second advice is to do all the exercises because in uh, Java course, we have um, exercises called labs. Uh, uh, try to do them. If you don't know how to do them, you can ask your instructor. It's fine. Uh, practice a lot. And uh, Java is fun. Uh, Java and Python are really fun. So don't worry. It is easy, of course. Yes, Thank you. I love that. Thank you, Reen, for that piece of advice. Hope that was able to help. Um, is still tuition fees free? Yes. So you do not pay tuition. You do not pay for your course materials. You are literally just paying for the actual assessment that you take at the end of the nine week period. So you're not paying for anything in between that. There's no surprise fee that comes out or whatever. 
it's literally just at the end of each term you pay for the class that you have taken your assessment in um how many courses can i take on each term each term um great question edgar those um depend on your academic standing so most students only start off taking one or two courses um, some students can take up to three courses in a term but also remember that you are going to be dedicating anywhere from 15 to 20 hours a week give or take to study for one course so if you take three courses that means that you're working a full-time job at UO people and dedicating close to 40 to 60 hours a week studying so you do have to make sure that you have the time to do it and you also have to make sure that you are um, academically um, you know passing your classes with more than just you know a C maybe something closer to like a 3.0 and above if you want to take more than one to two classes per term per term um, and can you complete a bachelor's degree in two years just like I was saying earlier, it really depends on the student. If you want to finish your degree in two years and you have the time and resources to sit down and actually study and get all of your course materials and all of your coursework done, yes, you can finish it in two years. It really depends on the student. You are your own motivator. You are your own timekeeper. You are your own, um, you know, we are always going to be there to support you, but you are still the one who is going to be earning your degree. So if you want to finish a bachelor's degree in two years, it is more than possible. Your grades just have to reflect your work ethic. And um, Love said, can I get admission in any other American college for master's from your people bachelor's degree? Yes, we are an accredited online um, of university. We are accredited in America by the DEAC. So you can apply for other colleges once you have your bachelor's degree from your people. If you want your instructors to maybe write you like a recommendation letter or something, make sure that you save their contact information so that you can reach out to them after you graduate and they can help you in your um, graduate application process and how many terms um, per year so we typically have about uh, five terms in an academic year from beginning to end so um, and each term is about nine weeks so it's you know it's it's pretty standard um, it's, it's it could be you know if you think that or how many terms in the year oh that's the same question <laughs> no my different people same question great minds think alike <laughs> But there are five terms in a year, and each term is nine weeks. Um, how to assign, oh, how do I sign up for the English course class? Make sure you reach out to the program advisor. If you've already um, gotten through the application process and got in, congratulations. Make sure to reach out to your program advisor so that they can tell you which courses you need to sign up for first. Um, did I get my spot through this site? uh uopeople.edu you have to go there to actually apply for uo people so once you've actually applied then you'll get in contact with the program advisor you'll get emails from the admissions team and they'll take you through the process of actually you know maybe taking an english language test or anything else that you might need um do you get do you allow senior leavers of uganda uh, for a degree if you are from Uganda, you can apply here at UO People. We're American accredited, but our degree programs are open to anyone in the world. I'm not sure if that was your question, but um, please ask it in a different way if that didn't help you. I hope that was a little bit helpful. Um, 11 courses for a bachelor's degree need more explanation. So each course um, that you are taking are giving you the skills that you need to understand fully um, about computer science. So, you know, if you're taking one course per, per term and each term is um, nine weeks and there's only five terms in a year, basically you're only going to be taking five classes for one year and then five classes for another year, but all of your work is going to be online. So if you're taking 11 courses for your bachelor's degree, you have one year, two year, potentially three year. It gives you time to retake a class if you know you unfortunately might not pass and things like that. Um, we wanna make sure that you're not, you know, at a lot of other traditional universities, you take a lot of classes that 
you don't necessarily need to understand. And we have just core things that we want you to understand from your degree. So you don't have to worry about, you know, taking five electives to graduate because we only want you to take the things that you need so that you can get your degree as quickly as possible and not have to pay for things that you're not going to use in the future. Um, how do we start our foundation courses? I'm already applied and have my spot saved for upcoming term. I know you're taking foundation classes, uh, courses, Reem. How do you start your foundation courses? The uh, first foundation courses I took was Programming Fundamentals, where we learned about Python programming language and uh, uh, st uh, Learning Strategies course, which is the most helpful course you will ever take in your whole life, where you learn how to uh, reference uh, the websites that you use uh, for uh, as a reference, uh, APA, uh, how to uh, you learn how to write essays? Uh, so it's a very helpful uh, uh, foundation courses. Uh, I don't know if this was your question, but <laughs> this is it. Yeah. yeah. So that that is all we have time for, everyone. Thank you so much, Reem, as well for answering um, the question about foundations. Thank you to every single person My who pleasure. has. Yes, thank you to every question, um, question that has been asked. If we didn't get to you, we will try our best to reach out to you individually through email after this webinar. Um, but I hope every single one of you have a great, great day. Thank you again to Reem for co-hosting this webinar with me. Thank you. Um, yes, no problem. And once again, if you are not subscribed to our UO People YouTube channel, make sure that you head over to YouTube and check out Reem's first esports stream from last week. And I Thank hope you. that you all have, yes, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and good luck in your journeys um, in computer science at University of the People. We cannot wait for you to start attending here and becoming a student with the rest of us.